What's up, guys? Anthony DiClemente here with Biohacking Secrets. And uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with my work, I, I've written a book called The Biohacker's Guide to Upgraded Energy and Focus. I'm a specialist in functional medicine, nutritional neuroscience, uh, have been blessed to work with a number of Olympic gold medalists, many high performing, super achieving uh, entrepreneurs from around the world, and then everyday men and women who are looking to get in the best shape of their life, level up their energy, their cognitive performance, and really just explore their full potential while here on this planet. And what I thought would be cool to do was uh, to share some of my favorite biohacks for doing just that yourself. That doesn't require my help. Um, so we're talking about if you if you want to get in the best shape of your life, whether that be burning fat, building muscle. We're talking about maximizing your your mental cognitive performance, brain energy, focus, productivity. And we're talking about overcoming things like low mood, depression, anxiety, and really just feeling like everything in your body is working the way that it is supposed to. So we're going to dive into the presentation. And uh, if you guys have questions about any of this, you can go to biohackercoaching.com. And uh, that's where we have a, a place where you can like book an appointment for you to speak with me or someone on my team and go over those questions and, and that sort of thing. But in the meantime, let's dive in. I'm trying this for the first time, so please uh, please bear with me. Let's see if we can share screen. Let me do this, and then we pull up this. All right, hopefully this is working. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Um, I call this the Apex Protocol. And as I mentioned, what we're gonna be sharing are some of my most effective small but insanely powerful biohacks that make your body and brain work better, plain and simple. Our mission and what we're doing here is empowering men and women with these small, actionable, healthy changes from ancient wisdom and modern science that radically upgrade body, mind, and spirit. And before we dive in, one of the things that I really want to hit on is that all of this, it starts here, right between your ears. So if you are up for it, I'd like you to imagine a clear vision of what you're willing to do, whatever it takes to achieve, knowing that anything is possible. And like bring up a picture of that in your mind, because we know that despite what you hear when people are trying to sell you stuff, despite all of the marketing that we're inundated with uh, on the internet these days, really good things do require consistency, discipline, and work. And a proven game plan that is replicable and applicable for you. So many of us believe that we've got things that prevent us from getting what others have been able to achieve or even things that we want. And so if you throw all that aside and you say, okay, anything is possible, right? And I can overcome any of those challenges and adversities. What does that look like? You know, and like actually picture that in your mind. And then when you have that clear vision, make sure it's something that's so compelling and so exciting that you are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve that, right? Even if it takes 10 times longer than you think, even if it's 10 times harder than you think, even if it requires leveling up your mental discipline and, and, and the psychological inner game that is associated with this stuff, you know, it's that, that's what I'd like you to do. So imagine a clear vision of what you're willing to do, whatever it takes to achieve, knowing that anything is possible. Step two. Write down what you're willing to give, trade, pause, or stop doing in exchange for its achievement. It's a super powerful exercise. And so I encourage you to either pause the uh, presentation and do that or uh, come back and do it after. All right. So here's a motivation hack for you guys. And it's called Toughness is the Choice. So I want to play this. Hopefully the audio comes through and everything. There's always technical glitches with these things, but fingers crossed, we'll get lucky. Here we go. This is, his name's Duncan. For those of you that don't watch hockey, he's played for the Chicago Blackhawks. He's now in the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, amazing dude, friend and client of mine. We've worked together for years. He's bought packages for a ton of people in his life. Um, but I want you guys to watch this video because I think it applies to all of us and it's pretty awesome. So here we go. 
everyone thinks that toughness is something you're born with. Toughness is a choice. It's training. Life is going to give you that at some point. You decide whether or not something happened. In the 2010 playoffs, I took a puck to the face and lost 10. Was I happy about it? Literally got goosebumps just watching that. So that's what we mean by, whoop, by toughness being a choice. And how do I go to the next slide? There we go. Um, this is a picture of me with uh, Carrie and Grant that were part of our team. And then there's Duncan from the video you just watched, uh, Olympic gold medalist, three-time Stanley Cup winner, and um, another one of our clients, Jonathan Taze, another Olympic gold medalist and three-time Stanley Cup winner for the Chicago Blackhawks. So this was when they were playing in Florida, we went to go catch one of their games and we went out with them the night before we didn't go go out go out we just went to dinner and got some sushi and stuff but um those are the people that i consider to be at the top of their game the pinnacle of achievement the people that we can study normal people like you and i can study and apply some of the principles some of the psychology some of the frameworks that they use to our lives to enhance them dramatically why the the clicker is not working there we no okay so one of the things that has made our coaching program for like everyday men and women and entrepreneurs so appealing is that we say, you know, you lose the weight or you don't pay. We basically have this guarantee where if you do the work and you check in with me every single day and you know what I mean, confirm with via accountability that you're doing the work and you don't lose the weight and get your body dialed in, like, I don't want you to pay. You shouldn't pay, Right. And so basically what it comes down to is like, if you commit to do the work, if you check in with me daily to confirm you did the work, if you execute the game plan that we created together and you don't lose the weight or get in the best shape of your life, then you don't pay. And I'm sharing that not because I'm like trying to sell you our coaching program because I'm not. I'm just sharing one of the differentiators because whether you do this yourself, whether you do this with an accountability buddy, whether you do this by hiring a coach, uh, someone who has achieved the results that you are after with other people, this is something that you want to take into account. Because if you're doing the work, you should know that you're going to get the results, right? And at least you're working with someone that can troubleshoot things along the way and help make that happen. So that's been our bold promise that has got us to a point where we, I, I believe, have coached. I'm not, I'm not talking about like those online coaching things where you like send somebody a work, send somebody like a workout plan and a meal plan. And they're like, I have 10,000 clients. I'm talking about like one-on-one -on -one in the trenches. I believe that we've worked with as many people or more people than just about anyone in the game at that intimate level. Right. Okay. So what you're about to learn three uncommon biohacks to get in the best shape of your life in the next 12 months. Right. So if you apply this stuff, that is a promise that I can make. You're about to learn the specific labs that I've done in order for clients and th that you may want to consider getting, um, plus my proprietary step-by-step -step proven process for radical body-mind transformation. So basically, um, this is a glorified testimonial from Russell Brunson, a uh, friend, client, business partner uh, who, who has built ClickFunnels up to a billion-dollar business. He says, Bulletproof, Tim Ferriss, Ben Greenfield, Tony Robbins, and Anthony DiClemente are the five leaders in an industry expected to reach 63.7 billion in the next six years, according to Berkshire Hathaway. And this is just a little bit about like the market size of biohacking and how much biohacking and this, this discipline of taking control of your health and knowing which switches to hit and which levers to pull in order to optimize your physical and mental potential, how fast it's growing. And a lot of that is because people are realizing that it doesn't come with a lot of the uh, weaknesses and challenges of any one discipline, right? The if, if you look at like Western medicine, Western medicine is really good if you like break your arm or um, experience, you know, you get in a car accident or something like that. But it's really, really bad with optimizing your health and body. And many times the only tools that physicians have time to work with are prescriptions because they've got like 15 minutes per client per appointment that they could, that, that they're able to, you, you just can't go deep in that amount of time. It's not possible. So more and more people are gravitating towards biohacking and some of, some of the facts that biohacking draws from all disciplines, not just Western medicine, but it, it takes the best of the best, whatever is like the straightest line between where you are and what you uh, would like to achieve. And it, it, it gives that. So it's like, okay, what's the outcome that we want to achieve here? And 
what's the best way of doing that, the most effective way that is also safe. So it'll draw from Western medicine, uh, Eastern medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, all sorts of different disciplines. If it works and is the best way to, to kind of get to where you want to go, then that's what is used. Um, I want to give you guys one more mindset hack, because like I said, everything starts upstairs and, uh, you know, really before we get into the, the nuts and the bolts, but I think you guys will like these videos. So I'm hoping you're getting the audio and everything, but we've got uh, captions on there too. So this is um, two-time UFC champion Rose Namajunas. And I want to play you guys a couple of videos that I think you'll really enjoy. And um, I call these, I'm the best. All right, here we go. Here's Rose. Take it away, Rose. So I should probably explain this. This is Rose Namajunas. She is challenging, I believe, an undefeated fighter um, from China. This woman whose name skip, you know, is, is, escapes me at the moment. But Rose had won the belt, lost the belt, and now she's going to try to win the belt again by challenging this woman who had, uh, who, who, who is, I believe, undefeated going into this fight. And this is before the fight takes place. You see Rose, and she's going back and forth. She's going, I'm the best. I'm the best. Just repeating this, this affirmation, this incantation, saying it over and over to herself, kind of getting in state before she, she goes into the fight. So that's to give you a little context of what's going on. Let's continue. So that's before the fight. Rose, Rose goes in and knocks her out with a head kick and everyone's going nuts, right? So, um, right after the fight, Pat Barry, her, um, either boyfriend or husband comes, comes up to her. And then this is the conversation that takes place from there. And I'm showing you this because like this, this unwavering belief in yourself is something that you want to cultivate and develop. And I know that that can be hard at the beginning, especially if you're like, Oh, I, you know, I struggle with this. I struggle with that. But these are the type of things that like the best people in the world do as a part of their habits and mental model that separate them from, um, you know, from even other champions, other people at, at this elite level. It gets me fired up. All right. So then this is the belt being put on her that she just won again. And you see that you'll see she's like overcome with, with emotion. I'm a little overcome with emotion, honestly. Self-affirmation. Yeah. And I am the best in the world. And then to go out there in a minute and a half. In a minute and a half. All right. And then here's, here's the last one. Kind of bring it all home. And hopefully you guys are saying like, how does this apply to me? How can I do... Things like this, you know, even if it's not like chanting, I'm the best, you know, walking around your home or the office, although you could, you know, there, there are things that we can learn here. If every, if every opportunity, every interaction, even this, this presentation is an opportunity to learn and get ideas and be inspired and motivated. Cool. All right. I love that stuff. So my question for you is, are you ready to go to war, to literally go to war with your demons, to go to war with the false beliefs that you have let yourself be, be a victim to. And, and instead, like, we can't be both a victim and a victor. you got to pick one of the two. And if you've allowed yourself to be a victim by thinking that you can't achieve certain things because of your genetics or your big bone, or you've got this medical condition or your thyroid screwed up or your hormones are screwed up, or you got two too many children or too, too much, whatever it is. Like we got to let all that go. And your mentality needs to be, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to achieve what I want to achieve. I'm willing to go to war for this. And that's a question only you can answer. Are you ready to go to war in order to have it all? Cause that's like the starting place of where you need to be. Okay. There are a couple things that you should know about me. So, well, I guess we'll cover we'll cover this, and I'll tell you how I really got into biohacking and things. But I love a, a good party. I travel regularly. I'm not like you know one of those. There's uh, Rob Lowe has a hilarious character in uh, what is it Parks and Rec where he's like this complete health nut. <laughs> it's a great character if you haven't seen it. But um, I, I love to party. I love to travel regularly. And, um, I think that's an important part of uh, enjoying life. Here I was trying surfing for the most, for the first time. Um, my buddy Carrie there almost died. This is us. Uh, this is our hot action kickball team winning the Chicago kickball championships. I think that was 2015 or 2016. 
there was me and a bunch of my closest friends at uh, my buddy Youssef and, and, and Mal's wedding. And it was in the Keys, Florida Keys, um, the Hemingway house. And then this is me knocking out a uh, one of those Spartan races. We're all hanging out in the pool, having a good time. Most of these are weddings because like that's really when you get a lot of people together. This I've also slipped in a few very embarrassing photos of me so that you guys can have a laugh at my expense. Uh, this was one of them. We all went to, we went to Rio de Janeiro in 2015 for my buddy Joe's bachelor party. And we were at this concert and I, I don't even know what happened here, but I'm wearing my short shorts as a joke. And then I got the duck face going on. It's, it's, it's terrible, but <laughs> my friends, uh, use that as, as, uh, blackmail. This was us at MTV spring break in like 2011, 2011. I love that guys. It's Brittany bitch shirt, another wedding. And you guys get the idea, but basically like this, this has it, it, it what really got me into biohacking was honestly, I, I got Lyme disease twice. So those of you that aren't familiar with Lyme disease, it's, uh, you can get it a number of different ways. One of them is through being bit by a tick that carries this bacteria called Borrelia burgdorferi. And for some people, when it gets into your blood and body, it can cause problems. For other people, not a big deal. But it can also like lay dormant. And then if you hit a period of extreme stress or fatigue or whatever, then it can kind of manifest itself. So I got in in uh, 2000. 10, 2011, I started having some things go really south with my health. And like, it was almost like the wheels came off the bus and all these, I started having all these different problems. I was having digestive problems, hormonal problems, mitochondrial issues. I was super fatigued. I was depressed. Like my body hurt everything. And one of the things about Lyme disease is that it's known as the great imitator because it can imitate like 200 other diseases and all of the symptoms. So I was getting really good at figuring out, okay, my body hurts. What can I do to overcome that? Okay. My brain isn't sharp. What can I do to improve that? All right. My mood sucks or I'm anxious. How do I improve those situations? Um, I'm losing muscle mass. I'm gaining fat. What can I do about that? Given my limited energy, right? So I'm building these skill sets and tools and organizing all of this information to overcome all these different health challenges, but I still didn't know what was wrong with me. So I was going from doctor to doctor. I saw uh, a dozen doctors in a year. And after like 10 or 11, I finally, or actually like it was like the 10th or 11th doctor was an endocrinologist. And I remember I was in such bad shape that my mom came with me to the doctor's appointment. And so she was in the waiting room. I went in with this guy. He's like, take off your shirt. You know, he didn't say turn your head and cough, but he basically did like a very rudimentary um, analysis. They might've done a little bit of blood work. And, and, and I remember when I took my shirt off, he's like, Oh, you're in better shape than I am. He's like, there's nothing wrong with you. And I was like, dude, I mean, I've been, I've been hearing that time and time again. And I know what normal feels like. And I wasn't feeling normal. I felt awful. Right. So, um, I was basically at this, at this appointment praying. He didn't say the same five words, like there's nothing wrong with you. And he did. And I came out and like tears were just rolling down my face. And I sat down next to my mom and I'm like, I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know what to do. Um, finally ended up finding a, a really sharp Lyme literate doctor that was like, have you been tested for Lyme? Wasn't even on my radar. We ran some tests, all came back positive. So that's a little bit of my origin story and how I started really down this path of biohacking and building a, a, a skill set that that um, requires the organization of different strategies to overcome any health challenges, any health challenge. And I, I really do believe that in the near future, we will be able to overcome any health challenge. I don't think that has anything to do with uh, some of the stuff Ray Kurzweil talks about, if you're familiar, but uh, I don't think it has anything to do with nano robots or anything. I think it has to do with us building these skills and getting getting more in tune with the cause and effect relationships in our life. So um, last little bit. So I'm a, a certified nutrition specialist, NCSF certified personal trainer, specialist in functional medicine, nutritional neuroscience, awarded top biohacker alongside Tim Ferriss, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, Dave Asbury, Ben Greenfield. Yada, yada, yada. We just talked about Lyme disease. Yeah, had it twice. Um, nearly dying. And, and, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with Lyme disease, like it's been associated with or implicated in uh, 
Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, multiple sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, so many different things that we don't really know the cause of. Um, there's at least a, a, a growing body of, of research and real world evidence that it could be linked to Lyme disease, people that don't even know that they have these infections. And I've been blessed to have it twice and unfortunately get really good at treating it. But a lot of people that try to go at it alone aren't, aren't as, uh, as fortunate, unfortunately. So um, this is me speaking at the Biohacker Summit in Helsinki, Finland. So I've, I've spoken to over 100,000 live audience members, presented at Fortune 500 companies, um, shared the stage with Tony Robbins, Russell Brunson, Ben Greenfield, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, Garrett, Wright, Garrett White, and a bunch of others. I'm getting a little sick of talking about myself. You guys are probably sick of hearing about me. Uh, my book, The Biohacker's Guide, sold 100,000 copies. I think we can skip a lot of this. We've got a cool men's event. We can talk about that sometime. I've got a podcast, The Biohacking Secret Show, that's a top 100 podcast in um, over a dozen countries. You can check that out at Biohacker Radio or biohackerpodcast.com. And then, yeah, speaking in a uh, popular guest lecture in Silicon Valley. So like PayPal, Groupon, Teal Capital, Peter Teal, the guy that started PayPal, he flew out me, Dr. Andrew Huberman, um, the Stanford professor of neurobiology and the host of the Huberman Lab podcast, and Wim Hof, the Iceman, who's got like 27 world records and had all of us present to his medical staff at, at Teal Capital. So this was the night before Wim Hof uh, and I are the two in the middle there. We went out for a beer just to hang out and, and shoot the ish. And it was a great weekend. We all like stayed in the same house. It was basically like the biohacking real world house. Um, I loved it. And then here's just some street cred for people that have picked up my books and um, shared some nice things about that. And you guys can always pause or go back and watch this if you want, but I'm just basically giving you a little bit of an idea. Okay. This is, this is cool too. Actually, you'll like this video. So this is a little bit about the biohackers guide and then um, very soon we'll dive into those secrets. So hopefully this will play. Let's see. Nope. Didn't play. Or maybe it will. See if it'll play here. All right, I'll just blow it up. Roll with, roll with the punches, right? This is a video for my book. There's me and Russell Brunson. A little uh, testimonial from Tony Horton, Benet May. All right, so that's that. You guys, if you don't have the book, you can get it at Biohacker's Guide. Get back to the uh, presentation. All right, so here's one of my mentors and friends, Dr. Joseph Mercola, rocking his uh, Biohacker shirt. And uh, it was pretty cool. He actually ended up wearing that on stage at the Bulletproof conference um, in front of everybody. And uh, yeah, it was just like, it was really like, this is a guy who I've always, I've looked up to for so long. He's had one of the, the top health and wellness podcasts for decades. And then we get to meet in person and hang out. And he's like, he's like, I need a couple of biohacker shirts. I'm going to be wearing it at the Bulletproof conference. And I was like, you got it, buddy. Um, and, and one of the things like, I, I just want to, I, I want to give you another laugh at my expense, but sometimes it's easy to think that like people are just really good. Oh, they're better at this stuff than I am. And like, or they're good at everything. And and I'm really not. So um, just to prove that point, I want to share a video with you of me. This is, this was filmed a couple of years ago, but my, my golf game has not changed very much. So check this out. I was on a, a, a this is our annual golf trip that I do with a bunch of my buddies from college. So here we go. Just to give a little context, I either hit the ball like Happy Gilmore, like 250 to 300 plus yards, or I do that. And uh, I was like, I'm going to crush this one. So my friend pulled out his camera and was filming it. And, and, and that's what happened. Last few things before we kind of dive into, you know, some of the, some of the more tactical stuff. families, everything to me. This is my younger brother, Nick. We're five years apart um, on the left. You know, brothers got to wash each other's backs. <laughs> And then there's uh, one of my favorite pictures of Nick. Um, this is us trick or treating. We were little kids. I was I was the Tin Man. I don't think he was even old enough to be anything yet at that point. Um, this is my cosmic buddy Kumba, Mini Golden Doodle, who I got in 2018. I love him. He's amazing. And uh, a little bit of backstory: like my dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2015. This is a picture of him running into his very first fire as a part of the Glenview Fire Department and uh, got captured for the paper. Really cool picture. And um, I, I'm, I'm sharing this for a few reasons. One, like to really achieve 
you know, the quote unquote impossible to do things that, that other people are unable to do. You have to be willing to do the opposite of what most people do. Most people see a fire, they run away. You know, my dad trained himself to run into the fire because if he didn't, people died. And in this case, I want to ask you, like, where are the fires in your life that you need to be running into? Because if you don't, a part of you will die. Right. And I'm not trying to be cliche here, but that th there really is a lot to that is, is developing the, the comfort in being uncomfortable. Right. And being able to stay in the pocket. That's that's such a huge part of physical, mental, spiritual transformation. So my dad got diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2015, obviously was was very hard on our family. This is a, a picture of my dad with me as a baby in our backyard. <laughs> and this was a really cool moment because we got Dunk. Dunk and Keith gave us tickets to the Hawks game. So we got to go see him before all this COVID stuff started. And, uh, you know, before they put all the restrictions on seating and access to the stadium and requiring all sorts of stuff like that. And, and it was really cool. My dad, my dad has loved the Blackhawks. And then for me to, uh, be in a position where I was coaching two of the greatest players ever to do it that are going to be in the Hall of Fame that are on the Blackhawks. And then to take my dad to a game was really special. And then, uh, yeah, to kind of give a little backstory. So if you go if you go back to like early 2020, I'm living in Florida. My brother and his wife are living in Mexico, and my mom is completely overwhelmed with my dad's Parkinson's. So I got rid of my place in Florida, packed everything up. My brother and his wife came back here, and uh, we're all back in the house that we grew up in to help my mom. And this was a picture of my dad and I at my brother's wedding last year. So him. His wife got married last year, and I, believe it or not, am a uh, ordained minister and have officiated three weddings, too, the third the third being my brother's. So what we decided to do is that we were going to get some land in North Carolina and build a family homestead where we could all live together and be together. And um, this is kind of a funny video that I filmed there. We ended up buying an excavator, and uh, I had a fun little National Geographic moment here with the excavator that I think you guys all get a kick out of if you share my sense of humor and I kind of need a good laugh right now. Uh, so that was just pretty gnarly. Kevin, who's like a boss on the excavator. Was taking one of the trees and just using it to like flatten the road. Yeah, very very cool. And that was me doing my uh, my National Geographic impression. So, um, if you guys aren't following us, you can follow us on Instagram at Biohacking Secrets, facebookcom slash Anthony Anthony We've got uh, a sixty five thousand person plus loyal email email newsletter subscribers at biohackingsecrets.com. Podcasts, all that fun stuff. You guys get it. Uh, we've done enough of that. I think we're good there. I think we're good there. Yeah, I mean, there's massive power in surrounding yourself with other like-minded biohackers. And, you know, I could show you guys this. But if, if you want to check it out, just go to um, ultimatebiohackingexperience.com and you can watch this video. I think, well, maybe it's going to play. Yep, it's so this is, our, this is our event that we do for uh, men and women every year. It gives you a little bit more of an idea of like what biohacking is on. Upgrading my body is an absolute must. Wow. wow. The most impactful thing was the community. Never been surrounded by such All right. Yeah, you can check that out at ultimatebiohackingexperience.com if you want. Um, and I don't know if I like the proof is in the pudding, but basically, yeah, I mean, when you have this stuff dialed in, you know, we've been able to build a seven figure business and and help people doing it and it's like it's it's the abundance flows not just in health but in wealth in your family and your relationships and like your enjoyment and and how much life you're able to squeeze into your experience here right um russell brunson friend and business partner this is us wrestling which usually involves him just pounding me but it's fun to try to fight him off Proof is in the pudding. Yeah, you get, you want to work with someone, not just me. It could be anyone, but you want someone who's been able to achieve the results that you are after for yourself. Um, this is us at the event, at the men's event. And, okay, so here we go. 
apply these three biohacks to get into the best shape of your life in the next 12 months. Biohack number one, test, don't guess. We're going to go over the lab tests that you want to be considering and uh, the lab tests that we include in our Apex protocol for every, um, every platinum client. Biohack number two, everything health related is fixable and anything is possible. And we'll go into that in a little bit more detail. And then biohack number three, run, don't walk from coaches and health experts who won't guarantee results. Okay, so here we go. Biohack number one, test, don't guess. What are the most important lab tests to rapidly optimize your physical and mental potential? Um, so we have our proprietary health assessment that we do with all clients that we've been building over the past 10 years. Um, and it gives us data points that help us to hone in on which other tests might make the most sense and different strategies, vitamin, mineral deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, toxicities, etc. We get um, a male or female elite panel, like a complete bl blood test. Uh, it's basically like what your doctor might order, but on steroids, way more comprehensive. We get a DEXA body fat scan and muscle mass test. And again, this is like, I'm going to share with you guys like what we do for our platinum clients. And then we have different levels of coaching. It's just not all of this stuff is included at every level, obviously. Um, we do a VO2 max test. Uh, we do immune testing, looking for infections, fungal, bacterial, mold. Uh, we do food allergy testing, urine pH testing, which I know there's a little bit of controversy around, but it is a helpful marker the way that we do it. I can explain that later if you guys want. Um, we do a metals urine test, both provoked and unprovoked to look for heavy metals like mercury, aluminum, cadmium, nickel, etc. We do an environmental toxins complete panel looking for uh, glyphosate, which is a pesticide or herbicide, um, mold, uh, plastics, petroleum, etc. You got to kind of know what you're dealing with in order to come up with the best detoxification strategy. We test the home and office for mold. We do a three-day comprehensive stool test with parasitology. Um, we do blood, a blood test for cancer screening that looks and screens you for over 50 types of cancer with one single test. We do um, cognitive performance and neurological testing, sleep tracking. We test the amount of electrical radiation that you're exposed to in your home and office, which has a dramatic effect on your sleep and um, longevity. And then we do something called like a functional genomic analysis where we take an organic acids test and then we take like your um, DNA test, a, a really souped up DNA test that goes far beyond anything you would do with like 23andMe. And then it kind of looks at like the overlapping concentric circles of those two tests and then gives you like a whole bunch of insanely valuable personalized recommendations. And then, um, and then we do a biological age test. Some of our clients even want to do that like every... Uh, six to 12 months. Well, if they do it every 12 months, they do it every time they, they enroll in a program. But if they want to do it every six months, just to kind of see that they're like actually aging backwards. I do not recommend doing telomere testing. Um, we've, we've found, like I'll tell the story sometime, but basically like it's, it's incredibly inaccurate. I've done tests with the same company, like within days of one another and been off by almost a decade. Um, we ran it for all... 20 guys that were at our ultimate biohacking experience. We did a telomere test with one of the best in class companies, which is the only type of testing that we do. And uh, basically found out that they were using people's age that they typed in as one of the key factors in their, uh, the biological age that they reported. Like literally, if you told them that you were 30, then your, telomere length would say that you were somewhere around 30. If you told them that you were a hundred years old, your telomere length would show that you were somewhere around a hundred. Like it's that bad. It almost feels fraudulent, honestly. And um, so I'm not, I'm not big on telomere tests anymore. And that's, that's part of the reason. Basically like when you're following a personalized game plan with a proven track record of success, everything is fixable and anything is possible. So this is, this is biohack number two. So Here's kind of my proprietary coaching process and how I break it down. We get blood labs, testing, and advanced health diagnostic tools because as you just learned, like you, you want to test, not guess, and that's what determines your blueprint and everything that we put together for you. We then upgrade your metabolic engine. Um, we've got some different ways to get yourself burning more fat, um, increasing your metabolic uh, fluidity and flexibility. We then go into personalizing your nutrition, optimizing your sleep, 
upgrading your cognition with brain targeted supplements, smart drugs, and sometimes peptides. We uh, balance your hormones always, always, always naturally first. And then some people, depending on their age and their health situation, want to use bioidentical hormones. We can discuss that with you. And we have doctors that can do that. I don't do that. But um, we can put you in touch with, um, we can connect you with someone on our team that can. So it's all turnkey and done for you. And a lot of people were able to get them from, we've had guys with testosterone in the 100s, 200s that were able to get it up to seven, 800 plus naturally, which is which is uh, unheard of. Mike was turned away from me. I hope you guys were able to hear the audio there. We then help with building strength and muscle mass, kind of getting your, your body dialed in without any pain uh, while maintaining uh, flexibility, uh, proper biomechanics, and um, resilience, right? So you're avoiding injuries and, and, and you're recovering better. We then go into detoxing heavy metals, pesticides, and toxic chemicals. Um, we build resilience and bulletproof you against stress. We then integrate time-restricted eating, advanced fasting protocols that go beyond just like intermittent fasting or a lot of the, the stuff that's out there. We increase oxygenation and supercharge your immunity you immunity, nice little typo there. Um, we then track and monitor your progress with science-based tools and expert accountability. You and I are connected via text um, to help with that so that you know we're never going a day without, without making progress and uh, in between calls. And then we leverage uh, personalized biohacks for achieving your physique and cognitive goals faster than you thought possible. All right, and then we've got biohack number three, which is, um, Run, don't walk from coaches or health experts who won't guarantee results. So, of course, you still need to do the work. Of course, you need to execute your personalized game plan. You need to be training in some fashion six days a week. These could be pool workouts. These could be elliptical. These could be, um, you know, a stationary bike. If, you, if you're in pain, we get our clients there. We have, we have clients that start out that are 400 plus pounds, and we have a ton of people that have lost over 100 pounds. Um, and I understand what it's like to be in pain, but there, there are ways to do this if, if you're creative and you have the right people in your corner. Um, you've got to stay accountable with daily texts and photos. Again, it doesn't need to be with me. It doesn't need to be with, um, you know, you, you could get an accountability buddy, a friend, as long as it's, as long as you're going to do the work, no matter what you're going to show up, even if they don't, then you, you guys can have that. And you can stay accountable to one another. And then there's massive power in knowing that all you need to do is check the boxes each day and your results are already on their way to you. Remember, you're joining a tribe. You're not just hiring a coach or a mentor. Health is wealth and community is strength. So just as important, make sure that anyone you consider working with embodies the physical, mental, and spiritual gains that you intend to achieve. Embodiment is the highest level of this game. Having some good before and after pics is easy. Like a lot of people can look fit long enough to take a quick photo and then like sell you something, right? But ask yourself, is this person's brain dialed in as well? Do they love their life? Are they happy? Have they helped people in my shoes with the same challenges? These are like the important questions you want to ask. And for those of you guys that are interested in help with this, you can go to biohackercoaching.com and fill out the short form, grab a time for us to talk. We'll have a conversation. We'll see if the Apex Protocol is a fit for you. And uh, one of the things I'm doing is um, when you apply today, I'll include three bonus options from the list below. So you'll get everything that we've talked about, at, you know, assuming you want to go in at the, at the platinum level. But there's also uh, gold and silver. But either way, you'll also get... Um, three of these six. So you'll either get um, bonus option number one, upgrade your sexual health, libido, and performance. Bonus option number two, get rid of pain and recover like an athlete. Bonus option number three, get rid of parasites, candida, Lyme, mold, and chronic fatigue. Bonus option number four, more youthful looking skin, thicker hair, and nails. Bonus option number five, fix your gut and optimize digestion. And bonus option number six, optimize your testosterone levels. A lot of guys want to start with that right away. That's a big part of the reason why they join. So I wanted to mention it, even though it's part of what we do over um, the course of our program. So that's basically it, guys. Hopefully you got some value from that and you enjoyed it. If, if you like this presentation, please share it up, um, hit the share button, give it to people who might be a fit for the program. 
And um, again, like I don't hire out coaches. It's all one-on-one that I believe that it's important to have that level of intimacy with the work that we do. And if you feel inspired by this and aligned with it, and you want to talk next steps and you're in a position to financially invest in yourself, you can go to biohackercoaching.com, fill out the short form and uh, grab a time for us to talk. And I mean, or you can also, um, well, do that first, (laughs) do that. And then if you would like to request your application uh, skips the line and you're ready to get started right away, you can send me a text uh, at 847-989-3743 and uh, just say, hey, you know, introduce yourself and that you'd like to skip the line and you filled out the form and whatever, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, Again, that's 847-989-3743, text only. It is my personal number, so please be be cool, be respectful. And uh, that's it, guys. That's basically all I got for you. And thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Go to biohackercoaching.com to fill out the uh, the form to apply. And if not, get started. Don't wait anymore. This is uh, this is your time. All right. Much love. Thank you.